Hi everyone. Right, um, I'm just making this for a friend, so I just thought, well, film it so people can see you do it. I just make sure that you can actually see what I'm doing. Thereabouts. If I leave that there, that should be fine. Now I've taken a piece of this gorgeous fabric. This is what I'm selling at the moment. Um, I have to tell you, I buy this from a friend. It's not bought from the market like uh, some things are. And it's extremely top quality. And I've got it in eight different fabrics. Um, they're on sale in swatches. Some are a little bit bigger than this. They're, you know, squared some. Some are rectangle. And it is exact. Uh, the lady sells it for a living. And it is extremely good quality. Um, so I had spare. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to use all of it. It was silly. I had some given, gifted. Um, and I'm keeping that. And I'm selling what I bought. And I actually paid 24.99 a meter for it so I know it's good quality um, so there you go and I just thought you lot might have a, a chance to use and work with some of this fabric it's beautiful it really is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cushioned um, tag and I've just used my um, scissors to cut around and what I'm going to do is about a centimetre in is just fold this fabric halfway over to that and squash that down because I'm going to be um, using some wadding in this so I'm going to need to leave a gap I'm going to spin that round and we're going to do that again so we get about half a centimetre in and then halfway for your fabric and flatten the, the glue underneath. You can feel it. Once it's flattened it will be sealed down. So we've got that. Now I'm going to seal one side and then we're going to stuff it from the other, opposite side. So to do that I'm just going to pull in I'll pull this back, a little bit of glue, not a lot, just a smidgen to do that. I'll do it on all four sides because they need to be done. You don't want it bulky and not able to use it, so you just need a smidgen. Now we're going to fold this in like that so put the crease in and then pop on the glue now it doesn't matter what it's like at the back it's the sides and that that you want neat now again we're going to do that from this section Just fold that that's why you need the thin glue in the first place when you're popping that over and then that will go and we're going to pull this tight so we're going to glue that glue that and very quickly glue that and fold that over tight so the give is only going to be in the top and the bottom section like that now what we do is we take the wadding, shred it so that you don't have no lumps in it and you just need small amounts. So you take your wadding and you can use a stick of some sort, I've got some sticks here that I'm going to use just to get that pressed up into the corner like that, into that corner use your hand to get it into this put in what you can and then you can spread it out from there but I do it in sections in small doses because it's just easier to manoeuvre about don't want that coming off there because it's got a tuck in that corner so push it in like that and then pull it out Want some more here like that some in there 
Again, we want some in this corner. Tuck it down. And then when you come to doing this section, you're all padded out. Like that. I want a little bit more down that section. Maybe a bit more. Okay, and it, see how it's puckering? You need to really pull that back out. So we pull that, and then you have to fold that in again to get that crease. Just make sure you get that. Hold that down tight. And we're going to pull this out again so that it's even here. Like that. I know my na nails are filthy. I've been working. <laughs> See, and then you can make sure that your little bit of wadding is tucked in that corner as well. See, you just fill that corner out on the bottom. You need a little bit more down there, I think. Some more here. Spread that out. Just feel around where now that feels really good. I like that. So I'm just going to get another glue stick, of course. And then we've got to pull this over. And what you do is Get hold of it like you had it before. Tuck that in. I actually would do it from the middle. So I'm going to do mine from the middle. Half inch in. And then pull that tight over. Like that. You can always put a little bit more glue here. So it sticks it down well. And then you need to pull pull it over, glue everything up, pull it over, flatten it down, again we haven't quite got that pulled over but that's fine, pull it right over now. We're not bothered about the edges because we're going to cover that. But there is a nice padded um, cushion, so, so to speak. I'm going to put a piece on the back so don't worry about that. So I'm just going to move that out of the way because we've done that. Oh, and by the way, I did find my roofing, um, the thatch, for the roof for that doll's house. So I can now finish that off, my miniature house, should I say. Now I've got my picture, which I'm going to have just there. Um, so I'm going to want to glue that, and I'm just going to do the top section first. Line that up. I'm going to have it here, so I do want to have some trim at the top, like that. Now we do sell this picture in the shop because it's um, copyrighted to us. We had it redesigned it's got um, writing on it had that put on had the flowers put on had everything changed she no longer has a bonnet and that but uh, like I say we did pay to have that done oh, it looks nice because it's concave now like that that's fine happy with that now I've got some trim um, and I think we're going to double this, let me just see. I think we'll double it. Yeah, we'll do that. Now I'm going to cut it because I don't want it stuck out basically. We'll just pop the first section on. I'm going to go about an inch. I'm 
and just spread that over, pull it tight like that and then I'm going to do the same again um, just above that like that and that's really pretty and I will trim off any edges I can do that now it doesn't matter there we go yep I'm quite happy with that now I do have some of these so I'm going to pop that on I only need three um, this is coming back in the shop I've sold lots and lots of this over the years and love it I'm just taking the tool off it because it's uh, embroidered onto tool so I don't need the tool on it um, I'm just going to go above that And we're going to pop that just across there. Actually, I'm going to bring that down a little bit as well, I think. Yeah, just there. And then what I've got is um, I've got some of this really nice trim. This is a, a, another variety of the Nottingham lace. And we're going to use this at the top like that. It's basically just a padded tag, a vintage padded tag. Just lift that up, stretch it across the top, oops a daisy. fine um yeah I'm not hmm, let's just have a look I've got some of these flowers all-time favorite flowers and I'm going to use uh, three for now I think may only just use one let me see just put one there for now I've got some gorgeous, gorgeous trim. Let me just put the other one away. This gorgeous trim. For around the picture. Just to give it a border. Like Just snip that off as well. Like that. There we go. Already pretty, isn't it? Now, let's just go back to doing some of the flowers. So I think I'm going to put one here as well, in that section, let me just have a look, see what else we have, oh, I've got some of these, I absolutely love these, you know when I find a flower that's a fabric flower, um, I sometimes try and get as many as I can, um, only because it's just nice to use them in your project.
I'm going to pop that in there. That's better. Yeah, I just love those. I have another one of these, I think. These are so quick and easy to do. There you go. And one more now, I think. Let's put one of these in. Like that. Now, what I've got here are some large bling. which I'm just going to use for the centre of these flowers. There's very little used on this, to be honest. You don't need it. Even though that might hide that a little bit, you can still see it poking through. Um, now, I do have some bling. Mm, not sure whether I want to. Don't an angel on here. We'll see. We could just have a dangle of the flower, I suppose. That's more of the. No, I'm going to have an angel, I think. Where's my angel gone? I'm going to have an angel. And I think we'll... Should have put that in the... No, I'm going to put that there. Just going to poke that here. Like that. And then use some of the small roses to fill in. Some more glue I may add. See? Then it all blends in together. Nice little angel sat there. And I think, just as a touch of colour, because it, it needs something. I usually add a little bit of pink with mine. And I'm just going to add a couple of these. Just here. It's just to break that up and then on the back we just make ourselves um let me get my other scissors pink and shears that will stop it from fraying i'm just going to fold it like that um, to glue and we're just going to pop that in the centre first to hang that from that's a big enough hanger as well and then I won't be a minute I'm just going to get a little bit of felt doesn't matter what colour it is Let me just tidy that up. It's not very straight, but uh, I will tidy that up. I don't think that's very straight either. A little bit better.
you just need it to cover the back and tidy it up and there you go nice little tag in about half an hour thanks for watching take care i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now